Welcome to the course Unconventional Machining Process. We are in unit number 1 Introduction and Mechanical Energy Based Processes. In this lecture, we are going to discuss Appressive Jet Machining Process, Working Principles, Equipment Used. What is Appressive Jet Machining Process? In AJM process, a jet of inert gas or air consisting of very fine abrasive particles, 50 micron grid size, strikes the workpiece at high velocity, resulting in materials removal through shipping or erosion process. You can see the diagram in which the air and the abrasive particles are flow through the nozzle, the nozzle made of sapphire material and jet diameter is 0.3 to 0.5 millimeter jet velocity is 150 to 300 meter per second and the standoff distance is 0.8 millimeter mechanics of ajm flaring of the jet that is the cavity dimension changes with a change in ndt Protective particles repeatedly hit on the work surface. Frittle fracture separates out the tiny particles to produce a cavity. A cavity with greater than or equal to nozzle in the diameter. It depends upon the nozzle to tip distance. Then air or gas carries away the dislodged small workpiece particles then cavity depth depends on the workpiece feed rate oppressive particle density and pressure stray cutting due to increase in ndd the jet diameter goes on increasing equipments used in ajm this is the schematic arrangement of the oppressive jet machining process here the equipments are grouped into six subgroups. One gas propulsion system, second one is air filter come driver, third one is abrasive feeder, fourth one is a machining chamber, fifth one is AJM nozzle, sixth one is abrasives. Various components of AJM. First one is gas propulsion system. It supplies the clean and dry gas, air, nitrogen or CO2 to propel the abrasive particles. The gas may be supplied by a compressor or a cylinder. Air filter come dryer. It is used to remove the water or oil contamination in the abrasive powder. Otherwise, the abrasive particles are found together. It will affect the nozzle to reduce the wear of the nozzle. Oppressive feeder, it supplies the oppressive particles in AJM. Feed rate is controlled by the inducing vibration at 50 Hz. Fissioning chamber is the closed structure. The concentration of oppressive particles around the working chamber does not reach to the harmful limit. It is equipped with vacuum test collector. AJM nozzle, it is made of tungsten carbide and R sapphire. Life of the nozzle is 300 hours. Pressure of the nozzle is maintained between 2 to 8.5 kg per millimeter square, meter square. Stray cutting. In AJM, divergence of the jet stream is produced due to wear of the nozzle. So, inaccuracy, inaccuracy produced. Masks are used to avoid the stray cutting. Oppressive it is the powder which having number of soft cutting edges which is directed towards the workpiece to remove the unwanted materials in the workpiece. Aluminum oxide of grain size 1220 microns are used for cleaning, cutting and deferring operation. Silicon carbide of 25 or 40 microns used for similar applications for hard materials. Glass feeds of 0.635 to 1.27 mm used for matte finish. Tolomet 200 mesh used for edging and polishing. Sodium bicarbonate of 27 microns used for cleaning, tefering and cutting of soft materials. 
Now we are going to discuss the advantages of AJM. It can machine pretty materials with thin sections. The process is characterized by low capital investment and low power consumption. No heat generation during this process. So thermal damage to the workplace is avoided. It is not reactive with any workplace material. The machine materials do not experience hardening. Limitations of AJM process. The value metric or stock material rate is very moon rate is very low. Stray cutting cannot be avoided. The tapering effect may occur especially when drilling in metals. The abrasive may get embedded in the work surface. Abrasive particles cannot be reused. Suitable dust collecting system should be provided. Applications of AJM process, manufacture of electronic devices including fragile components, deferring of plastics, nylon, teflon parts, deflashing of small casting, cutting, marking, engraving or cutting thin section parts, frosting interior surfaces of glass tubes, drilling holes, cutting slats, slots, cleaning hot surfaces, deferring, polishing. Machining of intricate shapes or holes in sensitive, brittle, thin or typical to machine materials. These are the some components made by AJM process. In the next class we are going to discuss about the material removal rate and process capability of AJM process. Thanks for uh, watching this video. Active online learning. Happy machining. Thank you.